Reverend Insanity. Chapter 146, Oppressive. Zhang Ya looked at the Gu Yu Yi whose face was grim, the former secretly feeling happy in his heart. This old man had forcefully made Zhang Ya bring him to this place. Zhang Ya only had rank 1 cultivation and was a junior, thus he had to lower his head to Gu Yu Yi and bring him here. But now that he had been humiliated, Zhang Ya's heart was envious of Fang Yuan's unrestrained personality. Gu Yu Yi wanted to give Fang Yuan a few tight slaps to lecture this arrogant junior. But for the vitality leaves, he had to control himself. Junior Fang Yuan, you can't say that. You are still young, you don't know the importance of human relationships, there will come a time when you need to beg others. Just think, in future when you come to ask me for a favor and I treat you like this, how would you feel? Bullcrap human relationships. Fang Yuan laughed in disdain in his heart. The so-called unity was just because they were individually weak. Human relationships, it was important on Earth. After all, there was no difference in personal strength among people. But in this world where people cultivated, things were inherently different. Human relationships were just a byproduct of strength. If one is strong, their human relationships would thrive. But for those who pursue relationships, they definitely have something to ask others of. As for not needing relationships if one is overly powerful, they can snatch anything they want, give it away or die. Why would they need people's relationships? These were demonic path thoughts, and Fang Yuan would naturally not advertise them publicly. But since he was disturbed like this, Fang Yuan might as well do this business. Thus he said, it's not that I can't sell it either. One vitality leaf for 68 primeval stones. How many do you want? Huh. Gu Yu Yi outside the door was shocked by this price, quickly saying, Junior Fang Yuan, this price is too expensive. Fang Yuan snorted, then don't buy it. Among the resources provided by the clan, there are also vitality leaves, you can exchange it with merit points. Gu Yu Yi laughed bitterly, how would I not know that? But these vitality leaves are all sold to those with relationships. The Medicine Hall clan elder Gu Yu Yao Jai has complete control over it. How can I interfere? Junior Fang Yuan, sell me a favor. I will definitely repay you. From what I see, 60 primeval stones is a just price. I do not anticipate people's repayment. You have wasted enough of my time. 70 primeval stones, if you don't want to buy it, leave. Fang Yuan responded. Gu Yu Yi was furiously stomping, Junior Fang Yuan, how can you do business like this? Fang Yuan snickered, times are different, it is 72 primeval stones now. Every sentence you say wastes some of my time, and when I feel unhappy I will raise the price, I hope you can make the right decisions. Hearing this, Gu Yu Yi's face became furious, he wanted to say something, but every time he opened his mouth, no words came out. His hagged face was green and red, and Zhang Ya who was beside him saw this and cheered internally. Finally, he gritted his teeth, saying, Okay, I'll buy it, I need five vitality leaves. You can hand the primeval stones to Zhang Ya. As for the vitality leaves, collect them from him three days later. Fang Yuan said. This was overbearing, trading goods and money was the most basic fairness. But Gu Yu Yi still paid the money, handing multiple bags to Zhang Ya on the spot. His movements were slightly trembling, for this was his meager savings, the savings from him scrimping throughout the years, and now they were all taken by a shrewd merchant. Finally, he walked out of this bamboo building with an endless feeling of indignance. Lord Fang Yuan, what you did was really cool revenge, but I'm afraid you have completely offended Gu Yu Yi. This old man, when he was young, he always took revenge on people, he would not let go of this easily. Outside, Zhang Ya said carefully. Let him be, an old man relying on his seniority, he is bound to get eliminated by the clan. Fang Yuan opened the door and Zhang Ya handed him the bags. The clan wants to resist the wolf tide, so that requires large amounts of resources. With less resources, they cannot maintain the large organization structure, thus they would need to get rid of members. These old men being alive were wasting precious scarce resources they were destined to go. 
The wolf packs eliminated the old and sickly, expelling the crippled wolves. In human society, they would not be so obvious, always masking their evil with a shield of light. Thus they called these old Gu masters to fight. So what if Gu Yu Yi understood the intention? Being in the system, a person in society, they had no choice. The clan uses the reason of protecting their family and clan to call them to fight and sacrifice, how can they refuse? On earth, there is a sentence, if the emperor wants the subjects to die, they cannot do otherwise, but still countless people fight for the positions of being the emperor's subjects. This was the allure and cruelty of the system. Every round of the wolf tied in the past, those old goo masters who come out to fight, how many can survive? Let's not say five vitality leaves, even if we give this Gu Yu Yi fifty pieces, he might not make it out alive. Feng Yuan stood at the door laughing coldly. When Zhang Ya heard this tone, his heart was freezing. He could feel an aura from Feng Yuan, full of coldness and frost, like the northern winds blowing until he cannot raise his head. Feng Yuan looked at Zhang Ya, his eyes dark and black, continuing, from now on, other than the arranged timings, you cannot look for me. If you break my rules, be prepared to face the consequences. Letting you sell the vitality leaves for me is on account of your brother. But respect is given by others and thrown away by own self. Think over your own actions. Zhang Ya heard Fang Yuan's lecture, not daring to speak. Thinking of Gu Yu Yi's sad state, sweat poured from his forehead. Also, from now on, raise the price of the vitality leaves to seventy primeval stones. Fang Yuan said again. Seventy? Zhang Ya was shocked as he gulped, his eyes shining, as if he can see an endless supply of primeval stones. But he was also rather afraid, asking meekly, Lord Fang Yuan, raising prices like this, will it cause others to think that we are growing a fortune through the misfortune? Would we have the suspicion of taking advantage of the clan state? If we do this, we might incur public outrage. Public outrage. HMPH, what can they do? Do what I order, don't talk crap. If someone finds trouble, tell them the vitality leaves are sold by me. Fang Yuan snorted. Yes, yes, yes. Zhang Ya nodded furiously. Fang Yuan's words were what he wanted to hear. He was going to do this as well. He was just a rank one small fry, he cannot offend too many people. Throwing all these problems to Fang Yuan, he had already started doing so. A small fry also has his own survival methods, and towards Zhang Ye's intention, Fang Yuan was clear at heart. But cultivation difference and era difference results in Fang Yuan living a different lifestyle. After using that red steel relic goo, he would be rank 2 peak stage, near to rank 3. That means he has finally grown past the initial step, and having this strength means his life and future would be different. In the past he needed to lay low, but now he needed to be oppressive. Only when he is oppressive can he obtain the biggest benefit. As for this Zhang Ya, he still has some value to make use of. Even with his petty acts, as long as it does not infringe on Fang Yuan's benefits, he can tolerate it. Even revealing some unimportant trump cards is not a big deal. During peacetime, those higher-ups have nothing to do, thus they might find problems. But now that there is the wolf tide, who has the energy to care about such minute details. After the wolf tide, it is not guaranteed that the Gu Yu village still exists. Half a month later, lightning wolves attack like tidal waves, causing the Gu masters to retreat in a hurry. Cheng Yu and Zhen, you must hang in there. Gu Yu village is not too far away. Xing Jiao man stared at the clansmen on the ground, her eyes turning red as she shouted. Leader Big Sis, I can't take it anymore. I have something in my heart I want to tell you. Ching Yuan Zhen was at his dying breath. His injuries were severe and his face was full of death. Okay, speak, Ching Jiao man sobbed. She knew in her heart that although this Ching Yuan Zhen was normally quiet, but he was secretly in love with her. At this moment, she knew what he wanted to say. But when Qing Yuan Zhen opened his mouth, he did not manage to confess and say, I love you. He had died, died of blood loss, injuries too severe to cure. His body was full of injuries, all from the bites of the lightning wolves. 
The most fatal blow was at his chest, from his right shoulder all the way to his belly button. This was caused by a bold lightning wolf. Big sis, the situation is bad, another bold lightning wolf group came. The recon goo master shouted, his voice filled with panic. Xing Jiao man's cries ended, placing Xing Yuan Jen's body down. She was the group leader, her group members need her. The dead has passed, and those alive has to continue facing the cruelty of this world. These goddam wolves, is there an end to them? Ching Jian man cursed fiercely. Her body figure was hot, and she had a nice pretty face, so when she said these swear words, there was a unique flavor about her. Hearing her words, the others calmed down internally. As Cheng Jian man cursed, she observed. The investigation result made her slightly distressed. She could kill a group of bold lightning wolves, fight her way out of two groups, but against four bold lightning wolf groups, the wisest decision is to retreat to the valley behind her and use the signal goo, hoping for reinforcements. Retreat to the valley, Xing Jiao man shouted as she activated both her giant bears to protect them. These two giant bears were well raised by her, one brown and one black, with smooth and shiny fur, but they were both full of injuries all over their bodies. When Cheng Jiao Man and the others successfully retreated to the valley, these two bears were left with one. The black one had been engulfed by the Lightning Wolves pack after killing tens of Lightning Wolves, having run out of energy. A goo worm shot out from the bear corpse, returning back to Cheng Jiao Man's hand in an instant. This was the bear enslavement goo. It can be planted into bears to allow the goo master to manipulate giant bears. Of course, it can only be an ordinary bear, for the bear enslavement goo is a rank 2 it cannot enslave a bear king. If it can enslave a bear king, they would be strong. Because a bear king, even if it is the weakest, has at least a hundred bear subordinates. If a goo master can enslave a bear king, it means they have a beast group to manipulate as well. Now we wait for reinforcements, hopefully they can get here soon, Cheng Jiao man panted as she sighed. They had retreated to the valley, thus the area they had to defend against greatly decreased, causing the pressure from the wolf packs to also decrease. But it also meant they had no way out, and the blood and continual battle would attract more wolf packs. The crisis was not resolved. A. At this point, from the cliff above their heads, a voice was heard. Everyone raised their heads to look and saw that there was a young man. It's him. Gu Yu Fang Yuan. The seven Qin clan Gu masters were first invigorated, but then showed a complicated expression. Chapter 147. This Fang Yuan is too arrogant. Ever since Bai Ning Bing and King Shu's intense battle, Fang Yuan who had chased after Bai Ning Bing the entire way had become well known and his popularity rose. These days, Fang Yuan had shown his strong side in the wolf tide, heading alone to hunt lightning wolves and showing shocking results. He was the new generation's rising star. If not for his strange personality and bad reputation, his status would be on par with Kai Shan and Mo Yan. But to the Qing village members, Fang Yuan was also Qing Zhang's murderer. Thus, when Qing Jiao Man and the others saw Fang Yuan, they showed a complicated expression. Fang Yuan stared at them from above, waving his tree vine, saying slowly, You can continue to wait for reinforcements or escape using the vine in my hand and climb up the mountain. Who knew when the reinforcements would come? Matters on the battlefield were ever-changing. Sheng Jiao Man and the others obviously chose the tree vine in front of them, but Fang Yuan actually asked them for remuneration. This caused the Qing clan Gu masters to be furious. Fang Yuan, we are alliance mates. How can you do this? Someone shouted furiously. Asking for the bear enslavement Gu, how shameless can you be? Someone sneered. Fang Yuan calmly retorted, one bear enslavement goo and seven hundred primeval stones in exchange for all seven of your lives, this is a cheap price. You can reject me and I will go back to the clan to report your circumstances. He he, but when will the reinforcements come? Will they encounter a wolf pack on the way here that I cannot guarantee? Everyone became quiet. Their expressions were ugly. All right, I promise you. 
Fang Yuan, you really live up to your reputation. Finally, Qing Jiao Man chose to give way for the sake of everyone. Her words were full of spite towards Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan shrugged nonchalantly, the result was as expected. He threw down the tree vine and laughed coldly in his heart. These four bold lightning wolf packs were lured here by him, he wanted to wait for them to die before retrieving their goo worms and get a huge amount of merit points. But their signal goo had attracted the attention of the surrounding groups of goo masters and they were all rushing over to help. To not waste his effort, Fang Yuan could only act as a reinforcement goo master for once. Xing Jiao Man and the others used the tree vines and successfully escaped from the wolf pack. Not long after, three Gu Master groups arrived, and one of them was the Kai Shan group. This caused the seven Gu Masters to become even more upset. Sheng Jiao Man was extremely regretful. Not long ago, she had withdrawn her consciousness from the bear enslavement Gu and cooperated with Fang Yuan in refining the Gu Worm, thus even if she wanted to go back on her words now, it was impossible. Fang Yuan, I will remember you. Xing Jiao Man stared at Fang Yuan fiercely in the eye. Remember or not, that's your business. Fang Yuan laughed plainly, turning around and leaving. Miss Xing, we meet again. At the other end, Kai Shan Group arrived, speaking with a courteous tone. Ever since the Bai Ning Bing incident, Gu Yu clan lost a King Shu and Xin clan's Xing Lai died, thus the two clans got closer. Politically, Bai clan became resisted by the other two clans together, even though the alliance was still in place. Little sister pays respects to elder brother Kai Shan. Xing Jiao Man lifted her frowning brows, cupping her fists towards Kai Shan, continuing, This time, we are asking the Gu Yu clan for some reinforcements. Qing clan has been surrounded by wolf packs for six days and six nights already. These days, the wolf tide was getting more severe. The lightning wolf packs have already started to surround the villages with the intention of attacking. Chen clan had the lowest position among the three clans situated at the mountain foot, they would be the first to get attacked by the wolf packs. In fact, this is the third time they had gotten surrounded and they needed reinforcements. With the coordination of offense from the outside and inside together, they would then be able to scatter and defeat these lightning wolf packs. The matter about reinforcements is not issue. Didn't we cooperate well the last two times? But this matter, I have to report to the clan leader first. Come with me, Kai Shan said. Qing Jiao Man and the others followed Kai Shan group, coming to Gu Yu village. Gu Yu village already had layers of defenses, the outer walls were strongly reinforced with dozens of towers. Below the village walls were trenches dug and filled with sharp bamboo poles. The village walls had been planted with the steel vine goo and poison flower goo. At one glance, the walls were covered in sharp vines and the beautiful poisonous flowers were all budding, over hundreds or even thousands of them. Entering the main door, one could see that the surrounding buildings, whether it was a residence or tavern, had been all transformed into temporary forts. Sheng Jiao Man and the other six, after leaving the Chen clan, their journey was filled with difficulty. Traversing through wolf packs, they all had different injuries. Thus, they were led into a bamboo building to receive treatment. There was over ten healing goo masters in the bamboo building, mostly rank one goo masters, but also a few rank two goo masters. But what caused Xing Jiao Man and the others to be shocked was the person in charge was not a rank two healing goo master, but a young girl. Put this unconscious one on the vine chair. The one here has a fracture on his leg, Gu Yuzing, come here and give him treatment. Superficial injury, Ah Feng, come here and stop the bleeding, Ah Zing, come here and apply the disinfectant, Xiao Hua, go place a fracture board on that leg fracture, then come here to bandage the injury. The young girl had black hair, a peach like small mouth, both eyes shining like crystals, and her face was slightly chubby, with a alluring voice. But when she handled the patients, she was very experienced, causing others to look in amazement. Xing Jiao Man suddenly thought of one person asking, This little sister, are you Gu Yu Yao La? Xing Clan's sister Jiao Man, hello. To think you know of my name. 
After assigning the Gu masters to their stations, Gu Yu Yao Li walked over and introduced herself. Sister Yao Li, you are a famous character. Inheriting Lord Yao Jai's benevolent heart and also extremely talented in medical skills, even with your rank 1 cultivation, you are known as the top 10 rising stars in King Mao Mountain. Even at the Shen clan, there are numerous people admiring you, sister. Seeing her strong background, Xheng Jiao Man politely praised as she was on a trip to ask the Gu Yu clan for help. I'm flattered, Sister Jiao Man. Gu Yu Yaola is still young, and her face turned red as she looked down in embarrassment after being praised. At this time, a Xheng clan Gu master complained, although you're both the top ten rising stars, that Gu Yu Fang Yuan seriously cannot compare to you, little sister. Don't mention Fang Yuan, my blood boils thinking of him. Times without heroes, lad gains fame, sigh. This person's morals are lacking, to think he is also a top 10 rising star and even the number one position. Thinking about it makes me want to vomit. This sentence immediately attracted the attention of the people nearby, including the Gu Yu clan's Gu masters. Gu Yu Fang Yuan? What did he do this time? Someone curiously asked. HMPH, he took one of my bare enslavement goo and even 700 primeval stones as a reward for saving us. I've never seen anyone so shameless and corrupted by greed, Ching Jiao Man snorted, venting her unhappiness. This is nothing, there are worse things. His heart is blacker than coal, selling a vitality leaf for 80 primeval stones, he is taking advantage of the situation. This person is greedy and extremely shameless. He is too arrogant and proud. My friend wanted to join his group, however not only was he rejected, but he even got insulted in public. What's his deal? He's merely a C-grade talent. He is a living prodigal son, wasting the inheritance both his parents left him to buy a red steel relic goo from the caravan. Next he snatched another red steel relic goo from Binding Bing. If I had these two goo worms, I can also have his cultivation. Lord Gu Yu King Shu is the best after all, humble and kind, too bad he died early. But his brother Fang Zheng has a sense of justice, helping those in need, and is kind-hearted, also having Lord King Shu's humble attitude, he is completely the opposite of his brother. Xing Jiao Man did not expect her ranting to cause so much reaction from the Gu Yu clansmen. She was shocked. To think this Fang Yuan was such a failure as a human, being hated by so many people. She felt strange, asking, since he is so hated, why did no one teach him a lesson? The bamboo building instantly became silent. The Gu Yu clansmen all looked at each other, not saying a word. In truth, many people could not stand Fang Yuan's mannerisms, as well as his act of maximizing profit under such circumstances. Many people found problems with him, but the result every time was that the person finding fault got into an even bigger mess themselves. After many times, no one came to find fault with him anymore. And Fang Yuan also became publicly known as the head of the top ten rising stars that emerged from the wolf tide. All these statuses originate from strength. Fang Yuan's battle strength was the strongest, so he was the head. Regardless of how bad his reputation is or how poor his human relationship is. That Fang Yuan again, Gu Yu Yao Jai lightly frowned, muttering. She had never seen Fang Yuan, but had already heard much about him. Towards Fang Yuan, she had a poor impression of him. This Fang Yuan, although my senior, the things he does are unforgivable, and he is so extreme. He dared to extort Sister Jiao Man this time and got the bare enslavement goo, not giving a hoot about our two clans' agreements. No, I must tell Grandma and let her teach this Fang Yuan a lesson, otherwise our Gu Yu clan will be humiliated. Thinking of this, the young girl suddenly felt that there was a need for a clan higher up to come out and teach this Fang Yuan a lesson. She naturally did not have this ability, but she felt that her grandma, Medicine Hall's Gu Yu Yao Jai could. In her eyes, her grandma was omnipotent. You want me to deal with Gu Yu Fang Yuan? Yao Jai looked at her granddaughter, her expression blank, and soon after that she started getting nervous. My dear granddaughter, did he bully you? 
she hurriedly asked. He did not bully me, but he bullied others. This time it is the Cheng clan's sister Jiao Man, he extorted her, getting a bare enslavement goo and 700 primeval stones. This is too much, if this goes on, the clan's reputation would be completely ruined by him, Gu Yu Yao Le said. Mm, grandma knows this matter. Darling granddaughter, leave first, grandma will not disappoint you. Yao Jai said after deep considerations. Thank you grandma. Grandma you do not know, but this person is too wicked, raising the price of his goods and bullying the weak, he is a true villain. After the young girl left, Yao Jai fell into deep thoughts. She had wanted to deal with Fang Yuan for a long time, however it was naturally not a naive reason like Yao Le's, but because Fang Yuan possessed enough profits for her to strike. First was the liquor worm. Although previously, Yao Jai had bought one from the caravan. But that was given to her granddaughter Yao Li. She herself still needed one liquor worm as an ingredient to refine a rank 3 goo worm she wanted to fuse. Next was the nine-leaf vitality grass. The clan's nine-leaf vitality grass were mostly in Yao Jai's control, and by relying on selling the vitality leaves, she could consolidate her authority and status in the clan. This Fang Yuan is too arrogant. First I wanted to buy his liquor worm, but he refused what guts. This time he raised the price of the vitality leaves and earned a fortune. Does he really think I, the medicine clan elder, is thin air? HMPH. Chapter 148. Circumstance. Two giant banners fluttered in the wind with a ringing noise. One was the battle merit board. Fang Yuan was now among the top ten in the list. Another banner listed all kinds of goods which could be exchanged with battle merits. However, most of the Gu masters in the crowded plaza had their attention on a newly announced decree. The content of the announcement was, the wolf tide is becoming more fierce and the casualties among the clan's goo masters are increasing day by day. To reinforce the treatment methods, the medical hall orders all the goo masters who possess nine-leaf vitality grass to temporarily hand them over to the clan. The medical hall will organize staffs to unify all the productions. There were a list of names in the notification. They were the names of the Goo Masters that possessed nine leaf vitality grass in the clan. Naturally, Fang Yuan was also listed. Right now, he was standing in a distant corner looking at this notification. His expression couldn't help but turn ugly. At first sight, he had realized this to be Gu Yu Yao Jai's move against him. HMPH, this Gu Yu Yao Jai has been indignant since she failed to purchase the liquor worm from me. I already accumulated enough battle merits to exchange for that three steps fragrant grass goo, but she prevented this from happening in the dark. Now she is actually coveting my nine leaf vitality grass. Gu Yu Yao Jai's actions were understandable. People of the same trade were natural enemies. By controlling the sale of the vitality leaves, Gu Yu Yao Jai could consolidate her authority, deepen her influence, and maintain her connections. However, Fang Yuan sold them in increased price, so this imperceptibly was infringing on her benefits and shaking her influence. I have a lot of goo worms on me now. White Jade Goo, Moon Glow Goo, Plunder Goo, Water Shield Goo, Earth Communication Ear Grass and more. Nine Leaf Vitality Grass is my most important economy source. If I lose this goo, it will be like receiving a checkmate. Gu Yu Yao Jai made a really fierce move. Fang Yuan frowned. The discussions of the surrounding Gu Masters entered his ears. Medicine Hall made a truly great decision. There are very few vitality leaves, and they simply can't meet our needs. Every time a batch appears in the goods board, they will immediately be purchased by others. Elder Yao Jai is truly gentle and kind. Look at the name list, it includes several Gu Masters from both Kai and Mo factions. She has no doubt offended many powerful elders with this action. Elder Yao Jai is thinking for the clan, she is worthy of respect. AI, only Lord Yao Jai has such courage. If it was any other elders, who would dare to take such action? A, look, the notification contents have changed. Kai and Mo factions Gu Masters have handed over their nine-leaf vitality grass. The crowd was boiling. 
nine-leaf vitality grass being consolidated and unified production meant the availability of much more vitality leaves. This was a great news to the crowd. Fang Yuan watched the notice with rapt attention and sure enough saw, beside the name list of these Gu Masters, there were new words handed over. His own name had thus become conspicuous. His heart felt increasing pressure. Gu Yu Yao Jai was an old veteran with deep schemes. With this move, she was borrowing the momentum to pressure Fang Yuan. If Fang Yuan resisted or disobeyed, that would be attracting even bigger troubles, giving people a hold over him. It was absolutely not a sensible act. This was the power of the system. If the clan wanted you to sacrifice, it won't directly say so. Instead it will drape a shiny cape of righteousness and give you no choice but to submit. An example was the recruitment of those retired old Gu masters and making them sacrifice their lives, how could they resist? The current movement of collecting the Nine Leaf Vitality Grass was asking Fang Yuan and other Gu Masters to sacrifice their benefits to satisfy everyone and was basically to Yao Jai's benefits. Anyone that dared to disobey was going against the clan and alienating themselves. They were traitors and rebels. To resolve this, small schemes like delaying tactics won't work and will instead put oneself into an even more passive state. Yao Jai's move carries righteousness and the public opinion. Any small schemes will be destroyed. Only by using an even bigger momentum, fairly fighting back and defeating her momentum openly will resolve this. Fang Yun already had a solution. This plan was simple but grand, advanced to rank 3. Rank 3 and rank 2 Gu Masters had completely different status. In the clan, any Gu master that advanced to rank 3 would immediately become an elder and join the decision-maker's circle. Even the clan head couldn't lightly infringe upon their benefits. Don't think that the Gu masters of the Mo and Kai factions obediently handed over the nine-leaf vitality grass, seemingly sacrificing their own benefits. Behind the scenes, Gu Yu Yao Jai should have already completed secret transactions with Gu Yu Kai Lion, Gu Yu Mo Chen and other elders. This was political transaction. However, the majority couldn't see this truth and were hoodwinked by Yao Jai. If Fang Yuan was a rank 3 Gu master, even if he had to hand over the nine leaf vitality grass, he would definitely obtain enough compensations in other aspects. Why was Gu Yu Yao Jai so anxious to deal with Fang Yuan? On one hand, it was because of benefits. Fang Yuan's actions infringed on her benefits and similarly she wanted some goo worms that was on Fang Yuan's body. On the other hand, Fang Yuan was already at rank 2 peak stage. If she didn't make any move now and waited for him to become a rank 3 elder, there would be no more opportunities. Advancing to rank 3 is a must. The clan can sacrifice rank 2 Gu Masters, but rank 3 Gu Masters are its pillars and each loss would incur a huge damage. Moreover, I have accumulated too many troubles. King Shu died, but the clan didn't do a careful investigation. I have the Water Shield Gu, Plunder Gu and other Gu Worms, but the clan has turned a blind eye to it. My cultivation is advancing so fast, the higher-ups clearly know about it but are enduring it and haven't examined the secrets on me. Fang Yuan was very clear on his current situation. On the surface, he looked to be strong and well off, but he was actually surrounded by danger. The clan didn't move against him because their attention was completely on the wolf tide. If they can't resist the wolf tide, the clan would be destroyed. In front of such pressure, Fang Yuan's situation was only a minor detail to them. However, once the wolf tide is gone, the clan's higher-ups would regain their energy. How could they not look for him to settle the account? Before in the academy, the clan elders didn't move against Fang Yuan because he was too weak. He was taking small steps and didn't infringe upon their benefits, thus not attracting their attention. But it was different now. Fang Yuan's cultivation was already at rank 2 peak stage. If he took one step further, he would become an elder. Simply this cultivation had already touched the elders' nerves. His every movement was observed and noted by the elders. Any newly advanced elders could influence the whole political situation of the Guyu clan. This resulted in continuous suppression of Fang Yuan. 
What's more, Fang Yuan hadn't joined the system and entered any factions, thus these made the suppressions become even more intense. Neutral faction was also a faction. No one could tolerate the current Fang Yuan, someone who was roaming beyond the clan system. If I advance to rank 3, the suppression will definitely be much more lower than now, though they will still be there. Rank 3 is a point of qualitative change, a threshold. Stepping through it will bring one to a whole new world. Similarly, with rank 3 cultivation, I can freely move about. At worst, I will simply leave the clan. Fang Yuan was clear on this. However, advancing to rank 3 was not an easy thing. Especially considering Fang Yuan's C-grade aptitude, it was almost an impossible barrier. In his previous life, he had stalled at rank 2 peak stage for over a hundred years. Until afterwards, he paid a painful price to obtain a goo and promoted his aptitude. Only then could he step through this difficulty. In a goo master's cultivation, it was easy to advance through small realms, they only needed enough time and patience. However, every large realm had a barrier, and the higher you go, the harder it is to cross. Especially the difficulty in advancing from rank 5 to rank 6 was beyond imagination, harder than ascending heaven. Fang Yuan already had a lot of difficulties in advancing from rank 1 to rank 2. Now, to advance from rank 2 to rank 3, there was no possibility of success by following the traditional route. Fortunately, in Fang Yuan's 500 years of life experience and vast memories, there were two to three methods. Saying it nicely, they were alternative paths, but saying it coarsely, they were demonic practices. This option was very suitable for Fang Yuan's current situation. With this option, advancing to rank 3 required one to refine a peculiar and bloody Gu Man Beast Life Burial Gu. An ancient Devil Path sect leader had made painstaking efforts and invented this recipe to strengthen his subordinate's cultivation. The Man Beast Life Burial Gu was specialized for rank 2 Gu Masters to break through to rank 3 realm. In his previous life, Fang Yuan explored unknown places and coincidentally found this recipe. It had made a deep impression on him, and he had firmly kept it in mind. The crucial point was that the materials required for the fusion were not rare. If it were normal times, Fang Yuan might need two three years to collect them, given his circumstances. However, the wolf tide gave him a great opportunity. He had already collected sufficient primeval stones and goo worms. The only remaining thing was to wait for an opportune moment. Everyone, quickly look at the notice the medicine hall has just issued. They want to collect nine leaf vitality grass and unify the production of vitality leaves. This is a great news. In the bamboo building, a group of goo masters gathered near the notice pasted on the wall. They were all filled with delight when they read it. Ha ha ha, I reckon Fang Yuan is close to tears. HMPH serves him right for selling the vitality leaves at such a high price, exploiting our hard-earned money. I really want to see what expression Fang Yuan has now, it would definitely be very ugly. Many people were taking joy in the other's misfortune. Ha <laughs> ha, this really lets us vent our resentment. We really need to thank Miss Yao Li for this, if she didn't persuade Lord Yao Jai, how could there be such a day? Right, we are really grateful to Miss Yao La. Miss Yao Li is not only beautiful, she is also kind-hearted, upholding justice and fairness for us. She has the demeanor of Lord Yao Jai. As she heard the continuous praises, Gu Yu Yao La shyly lowered her head, she felt happy. Little sister Yao La. Right at this time, Qing Jiao Man walked in through the door. I came to say my goodbyes. I saw the medicine hall's notice, I am really thankful to you for letting me vent out my indignance. People like Fang Yuan are black sheeps and need to be controlled. Big sister, you are leaving? Gu Yu Yao Le threw a concerned look. Xing Jiao Man put one hand on her hip and pointed the thumb of her other hand to a group of Gu masters standing outside the door saying, I have already asked for reinforcements, I must hurry back, let's meet again next time. Yao Le's heart was filled with grief. Qing Jiao Man had ten Gu masters when she had left her clan, but there were only seven left when she reached here. 
Now these Goo Masters were going to step into the cruel battlefield again, how many of them could safely return? Chapter 149, Wolf Pack Attacks the Village Yao Le sent Xing Jiao Man and the others to the door with her gaze as they got further apart. But this separation was extremely short-lived. Merely 15 minutes later, Qing Jiao Man and the others returned to the bamboo building. We are unlucky, there's a wolf tied, Qing Jiao Man laughed bitterly, explaining. When the Gu masters in the bamboo building heard this, their expressions tensed. Qing Jiao Man's group had great numbers, yet they were forced to retreat to the village, it showed the intensity of this wolf tide. Everyone get ready, the lightning wolf pack is about to assault the village, Xing Jiao man said. Once she finished her words, sirens resounded in the entire village. The village went quiet for a moment, then in the next instant noise erupted. This alarm, there is a large-sized wolf pack attacking the village. Quick, quick, gather all our group members here, there's a huge battle incoming. Damn it, I just got back, I wanted to get a good sleep. Goo Masters cursed as some showed a cold expression. At once, in the bamboo building and on the streets, Goo Masters could be seen moving quickly, gathering towards the four doors of the village as well as the outer walls. On the interior side of the village outer walls, there was a large wooden ladder at every interval for Goo Masters to climb up and the many defensive towers were made higher than the outer walls like brave, courageous defenders of the village. Fang Yuan was among the crowd, arriving at the base of the outer wall. A goo master was treading on the wooden ladder, and as he was about to head up, Fang Yuan pulled him down and ascended himself. Which bastard, that goo master was about to scold out, but saw that it was Fang Yuan and immediately shut up. Fang Yuan climbed up the wooden ladder, then he expedited the white jade goo and peeked at the front lines. Just outside the village, there were roaming lightning wolves everywhere, thousands of them. Taking a glance, there was an endless number of glimmering green wolf eyes, causing one to break out in cold sweat. These wolves were all starving, and some were so hungry even their bodies were shrinking. The lightning wolves' amount was too much, it became a moving disaster. The surrounding wild beasts were either chased away or eaten, and for the wolf packs, they were getting less and less food. To them, a village full of people was a fatal attraction. Wolves were full of wildness, and a hungry wolf is even scarier, more dangerous, and crazier. A lightning wolf that is full would not attack the village. Other than these normal lightning wolves, there was also the bold lightning wolf. Although mixed in with the wolf packs, the bold lightning wolf was still easily recognized. Their bodies were as large as a calf. There was at least thirty. Many people upon seeing this drew in a deep breath. This was the second time Guyu village had been attacked by wolves this year, but this size was almost twice or even more than that of the last time. These bold lightning wolves were all at the peak of their health, strong like bulls. Ordinary lightning wolves might not get food, but these hundred beast kings definitely had ample nutrition. Resources were naturally given to the higher-ups first. The benefits of the lower rank members would be stripped, sacrificed, and given to the higher ranks. Be it human society or wild beast groups, it worked the same way. These bold lightning wolves are not the real threat. Fang Yuan's gaze moved, continuously finding and quickly saw three large wolf shadows at the back of the wolf pack, hiding under the shadow of the trees. Thousand Beast King Frenzy Lightning Wolf Each Frenzy Lightning Wolf was as large as an elephant. When Fang Yuan saw this, his pupils shrunk slightly but went back to normal immediately. He continued observing, only finding even more bold lightning wolves coming in from all directions. Fang Yuan did not see the lightning crown wolf. Fang Yuan breathed out a sigh of relief secretly, for without the lightning crown wolf, the village was relatively safe. In his memory, the lightning crown wolf appeared at the end of August. It caused great damage to the Guyu clan, and if not for the clan leader and elders joining forces to block them relentlessly, along with Guyu King Shu sacrificing his life to raise his strength, Guyu village would have gotten wiped out already. Ever since his rebirth, Fang Yuan changed many things. 
Gu Yu King Shu had already been sacrificed prematurely, so Fang Yuan dared not be careless. There was even a possibility of the lightning crown wolf appearing now. Thus, he rushed to the site to observe the scenario. Howl! Three frenzy lightning wolves raised their heads as they howled long and loud. In their cries, numerous lightning wolves received their orders and started to attack the village. On the village's end, the Gu Masters had already prepared themselves, getting into formation. Rank 1 Gu Masters were all at the wall's corners, both hands supporting the cold walls. Rank 2 Gu Masters, some climbed the wooden ladders while others gathered at the top of the towers. Right behind them, the temporary forts that were remodeled from buildings were filled with Goo Masters, some were support teams, some were healing Goo Masters from the Medicine Hall, and Recon Goo Masters were moving between them providing the battle information to the back-end staff. Some clan elders were at the back-end, some ascended the tower buildings, and others watched at the sidelines, reserving their strength and being a pillar of mental support to the clansmen. They're here. Fang Yuan stood on the wooden ladder, his eyes glimmering. Lightning wolves moved from the entire mountain, forming into a tidal wave and assaulted the village. Rumble, rumble. They first fell into the pre-dug pitfalls outside the walls, their bodies penetrated by numerous bamboo spears like dumplings inside a pot. Some died on the spot, while others had some life remaining, crying out pitifully. The wind blew, and the smell of blood entered everyone's noses, while wolf cries entered their ears. The wolf packs attacked in a frenzy. Not only did they not stop, they were in fact stimulated by the blood and attacked even more furiously. Lightning wolves fell into the trap one by one, using their lives to pave the way for the others, stepping on their companions' corpses and crashing up onto the village walls. At once, thudding sounds were heard. A lightning wolf was powerlessly against the wall, but with the endless hordes, the impact caused the outer wall to shake. Rank 1 Goo Masters below the outside wall held in their tremendous fear, and risked their lives injecting primeval essence into the steel vine goo and poison flower goo. The village wall's numerous thorns stabbed into the lightning wolf's body. The poison flower goo gave these steel vines a poisonous touch as the poison invaded the lightning wolves' body. Lightning wolves scratched and attacked the village walls, opening their mouths and biting, but as their injuries intensified and the poison accumulated, their movements gradually turned sluggish. Pew pew pew. Rank 2 Goo Masters stepping on the wooden ladders, along with those at the tower buildings, shot out moonblades. The moonblade shot into the wolf packs and instantly blood splashed everywhere and wolf limbs went flying. The bold lightning wolves began to enter the battle, immediately bringing injuries and deaths to the goo masters. Fang Yuan's Corner A thin long blue lightning current moved about and hit onto the village walls, instantly penetrating and creating a hole. It electrocuted an unfortunate rank one goo master inside as well. That bold lightning wolf that killed a goo master quickly received heavy attention. Numerous moonblades flew towards it, but it dodged left and right, relying on the surrounding lightning wolves to provide cover, thus suffering only minor injuries. Howl! It opened its mouth, and between its sharp teeth sparks flew, quickly forming an electric current that flew through the air towards Fang Yuan. Water Shield Goo Fang Yuan snorted, and from his nose, two lines of light blue water vapor flowed out. The water vapor expanded, forming a water ball shield, protecting him. The lightning current hit the water shield and caused it to shake, almost breaking. Moon Glow Gu. Fang Yuan kept the water shield, and from his wrist, three moon blades shot out. The moon blade's angle was tricky. The bold lightning wolf dodged the first, but its right front leg was hit by the second, causing its movement to slow down, and the third hit its head, causing a severe injury that crushed its left eye. It cried out in pain, but other goo masters saw the opportunity and quickly, a flurry of moon blades enveloped it. Pew pew pew. This bold lightning wolf was instantly pelted, its body bathed in blood, and injuries were so deep its bones could be seen, its body shook a little before collapsing completely. The surrounding wolf packs went into a panic like ripples in a pond. 
but at this point, there were three frenzy lightning wolves behind holding the fort, and the wolf packs only went into chaos for a while before raising their claws and attacking the village walls again. Fang Yuan shot a few more moon blades out before getting down the wooden ladder. With just this, his deep red primeval essence had already gone below half, needing replenishment. Seeing him coming down, a rank 2 Gu Master quickly replaced his position and ascended the wooden ladder. Normally, Gu Masters that had long-range attacks would ascend the wooden ladder or gather at the tower building's roof. Their emphasis was on the bold lightning wolf as its threat was greater than any ordinary lightning wolf. Some bold lightning wolf had a goo worm that assisted with jumping in their bodies, allowing them to leap into the village. Fang Yuan walked down the ladder and continued towards the back. Surrounding him, there was people walking around similar to him, those that had expended their primeval essence and were recovering. Another group of Gu Masters replaced their positions and entered the battlefield, providing their strength towards defending the clan. This was a battlefield. Strength below rank 2 peak stage was meager. Only rank 3 Gu Masters were the important pillars able to control the situation. Fang Yuan came to a bamboo building. This was a modified building and was heavily reinforced. He squeezed his way in, where many Gu Masters were sitting inside, holding primeval stones and recovering their primeval essence. Some healing Gu Masters moved among the crowd, some squatted on the ground, some bandaged injured Gu Masters, and the first aid kits were placed at the side. Fang Yuan found a spot to sit down, and a healing Gu Master immediately came over. He shook his head towards her, and she understood, approaching another Gu Master instead. Such a rotational strategy, all the way till 10 o'clock at night, Fang Yuan had already entered battle five times. But the lightning wolf packs did not seem to reduce in fact, they could see even more wolf packs, hurriedly arriving upon hearing the frenzy lightning wolf's call. It seems this wolf tide will sustain through the night, said a clan elder who stared outside the village, his face full of worry. At night, Gu Master's vision was poorer, but on the other hand, the lightning wolves had superior vision and were unaffected by the darkness. This is only the second wolf tide this year, and it is already so intense. The situation is not optimistic. Another clan elder sighed. Gu Yu Yao Jai's face was sullen. She was the Medicine Hall clan elder, leading the healing Gu masters. First-hand injury reports would be sent to her. On that thin piece of bamboo paper, it recorded the injuries and deaths of the day. Yao Jai held it in her hands, feeling solemn. The death toll was far greater than previous years. But she understood this was not due to the decline of quality of Gu Masters, but because the wolf numbers were too great and too ferocious. Nine Leaf Vitality Grass housed the acquisition. Seeing the blood red sun setting, Yao Jai sighed, asking faintly. Her subordinate quickly reported three people had not given up theirs yet, and Fang Yuan was among them. Yao Jai listened and snorted, then asked, where is Yao Le? Miss Yao Le is near the east door, leading the healing team. I've advised her many times, but she refuses to stay at the back, insisting on going to the front lines to battle. Saying so, he kneeled down in horror. Yao Jai thought for a while before nodding, waving her hand to send off the subordinate. Near to her granddaughter, there was a clan elder. Ching Jiao Man and the gang were also there, fighting at the village walls. It could be said that the front lines was the safest place. Although Yao Jai doted on her granddaughter, she supported her courage as well. The ones in power have their considerations. These experiences will become Gu Yu Yao Le's political advantage when she inherits the medicine hall. Chapter 150 I Am Only Helping Myself The golden full moon hung in the sky, the drifting clouds casting a gloomy shade. There were desperate battles going on outside the village, and the bright moonlight was great news to the Gu Masters in the dark night. Wolf corpses piled up in the traps and were already reaching the midpoint of the wall. This gave a good platform to move on for the charging lightning wolves. Some ordinary lightning wolves jumped, clawed, and even directly leaped across the wall. 
However, these lightning wolves usually fell or staggered due to the height disparity and were immediately disposed off by the standby Gu masters. At this time, Fang Yuan was standing on top of a tower along with many other Gu masters. They were endlessly throwing out moon blades and other attacks at the wolf packs. In the whole battlefield, these towers were the most important source of damage. The combination of the Gu masters and the towers had eliminated a large number of bold lightning wolves. Kill, kill, kill. Annihilate these wolves. Nana, I will take revenge for you. Persevere just a bit more. The clan's safety lies in our hands. The surroundings were a cacophony of noises. Some people were madly screaming, some were shouting revenge, some were shouting in pain, and some were shouting slogans. Fang Yuan indifferently stood there, his hand tossing out moon blades occasionally while continuing to observe the battlefield. Although there was a bright moon, the visibility couldn't be compared to daytime after all. The three frenzy lightning wolves were at the rear, unmoving, their figures indistinct. As long as they were unharmed, the lightning wolves were just cannon fodders, and even bold lightning wolves were only high-level sacrifices. Suddenly, a frenzy lightning wolf unhurriedly took a step forward, it opened its large mouth and threw a thunderball. Rank 3 Thunderclap Goo This thunderball was not big, it was only the size of a millstone. However, a large amount of eerie blue electricity was condensed in it, and its speed was strangely fast. Almost immediately, the thunderball fiercely collided with the tower Fang Yuan was on. The progress of the fierce battle had been in a deadlock. Many Gu masters were mindlessly fighting, and they were not able to react to the thunderball. Water Shield Gu, White Jade Gu. Fang Yuan was only able to put up his defense before white light covered his sight. Boom! The huge sound from the explosion nearly ruptured his eardrums. A formless force erupted out from the explosion and sent him flying. The devastating thunder destroyed the water shield within two breaths of time. The surplus electric current struck Fang Yuan, and even with the white jade goo's defense, he still felt bursts of numbness. Bang! He fell to the ground from a height of three to four meters. White jade goo was not the raiment goo. It couldn't lessen the force on impact. Fang Yuan's back hurt all over. He quickly got up from the ground, his eyes repeatedly blinking as teardrops fell from it. After three breaths of time, he slowly recovered his sight. The tower that had been built with thick stones was half destroyed. There were many burnt black corpses scattered around on the ground. The thunderball attack had opened a huge hole on the outer wall, and an unending stream of wolf packs charged into the village like a tide. The frenzy lightning wolves finally entered the battlefield. Thousand Beast King level strength was extraordinary. The many Gu masters that were around Fang Yuan in the tower just a moment ago were completely dead, some left without intact corpses. Only Fang Yuan alone had survived. The jellyfish-like water shield goo appeared very dull inside his aperture. If the water shield was continuously destroyed many times, the water shield goo would also be damaged and could even perish. White jade goo was also in a similar state. Goo worms were strong and yet fragile. Take this thunderclap goo for example. Its thunderball was very powerful and fast, also difficult to resist. But it also had a weakness it couldn't be used repeatedly and needed some time before the second thunderball could be shot out. Boom. But Fang Yuan had just stood up when another thunderball flew over. To think this wolf king has two thunderclap goo on it. Fang Yuan's complexion turned pale and he hurriedly dodged. He tried not using the water shield goo and only relied on the defense from the white jade goo. Beast, stop your insolence. At this critical timing, a figure appeared in mid-air, golden light bursting out from the figure as he resisted this thunderball. The elders had made their moves. However, one elder was still not enough. Soon, the elder was joined with two other elders. A frenzy lightning wolf needed at least three groups with great teamwork to join hands, or at least three rank three goo masters to face it. The frenzy lightning wolf took heavy steps forward, emerging from the indistinguishable wolf packs as the surrounding wolves gave way. 
It gradually started from a slow run and then got faster and faster, charging at the village wall with its head lowered. Seeing this scene, all the rank 1 and rank 2 Gu masters fled in terror. Only those three elders still remained on their spots. Everyone tacitly vacated this part of the battlefield and left it to them. The intense battle between the three elders and this frenzy lightning wolf unfolded. Not long after, the other two frenzy lightning wolves also charged towards the village, opening another two battlefields. Nine elders and three frenzy lightning wolves formed into three great battlefields. Thunder and lightning burst out everywhere, destroying the bamboo buildings. Most of the Goo Masters or the Lightning Wolves who were caught in these three great battles didn't have a good end. Lighting Wolf Packs were still charging towards the village, but Fang Yuan didn't fight anymore and moved to a corner of the battlefield, observing the three great battle stages from a distance. No doubt, the attacks from these Wolf Packs had reached the climax. Three Frenzy Lightning Wolves, one has two Thunderclap Goo and has high offensive power. Another has Thunder Wings Goo and can fly for a short moment, giving it very high flexibility in the battle. Another holds the Thunder Roar Goo and can kill its enemies with the sound waves. Fang Yuan slowly got the details on these three frenzy lightning wolves after observing for a moment. A Thousand Beast King usually has three four rank two and a rank three wild goo worm residing on it. The Goo Masters could give proper response as long as they were clear on these Goo Worms. Once the Frenzy Lightning Wolves suffered targeted attacks, with their low wisdom, they wouldn't change their monotonous attack styles, and the battle outcome was certain. Sure enough, soon the several Elders retreated and other Elders replaced them. With the mutual coordination between them and superior tactics, they were soon able to occupy the upper hand. After a short moment of intense battle, they controlled the battle situation. Victory was only a matter of time. The outcome is set. Just when Yao Jai puffed out a sigh, a roar sounded out from the eastern gate. A lightning wolf was growing bigger, from the size of a normal lightning wolf, as if air was blown inside it. It swelled up to a size of an elephant. There is actually another frenzy lightning wolf. Many elders were alarmed at this scene. Their attention had all been on the three battle stages. As their entire battle formation was heavily emphasized on these three areas, the forces at the eastern gate was somewhat thin and weak. Not good, Yao Le is still there. Yao Jai suddenly turned pale, and she immediately shot out towards the eastern gate. A. To think there was still such an unforeseen event. This frenzy lightning wolf should have a rank 3 aura restraint goo. It used this disguise to mix in with the lightning wolf packs and deceive the goo masters at the eastern gate. Fang Yuan observed carefully, the situation at the eastern gate was far from good. A frenzy lightning wolf suddenly appeared and directly smashed the eastern gate, creating a huge hole. Countless lightning wolves flocked behind the bold lightning wolves, howling savagely as they charged into the village. Gu Yu Yaoli was numb with fear as she saw the lightning wolf packs charging in like a tide. Fortunately, she had veterans like Xing Jiao Man beside her. At this critical timing, Xing Jiao Man took it upon herself to control the scene and ordered, Quick, close the doors and the windows. We need to defend this place till the reinforcements arrive, and only then will we have a fighting chance. She had just finished speaking when bang the roof of the bamboo building collapsed under the attack of the frenzy lightning wolf. Gu Yu Yaola screamed. The abrupt twist in events had caused her to lose her composure. She was after all too young and only had rank one cultivation. She had stubbornly stayed here because she felt safe and had never thought she would fall into such a dangerous state. Brute beast, stop at once! Gu Yu Yao Jai shouted while frantically running. She helplessly looked as the frenzy lightning wolf rammed into the bamboo building. Her beloved granddaughter was in a dangerous situation, but even though she had the power, she couldn't help her because it was beyond her reach. At this dangerous moment, it was again Xing Jiao Man who stepped forward. She willed in her mind, and her remaining brown bear charged towards the frenzy lightning wolf with a roar. The frenzy lightning wolf swatted with its right paw, 
sending this 400 kilogram over brown bear flying. It opened its mouth and bit the brown bear's head to pieces. How could an ordinary wild beast resist a thousand beast king level's strength? Xing Jiao Man took this time when the frenzy lightning wolf was tangled up with the brown bear to rush out with Gu Yu Yao Li in tow, managing to pull apart a small distance. The frenzy lightning wolf roared. It naturally wasn't willing to see its prey run away like this. It leapt and crossed a dozen meters at once, landing in front of Xing Jiao Man. Suddenly seeing this frenzy lightning wolf appear in front of her, Gu Yu Yao Le's legs went soft. Xing Jiao Man dragged her but didn't dare to rush forward recklessly. She could only change her direction and run towards the outside of the village. The frenzy lightning wolf was just about to pounce on them when Gu Yu Yao Jai arrived and threw a light purple moon blade at the wolf's back. The moon blade quietly changed into a ball of miasma and bore into the frenzy lightning wolf's nose. The frenzy lightning wolf immediately coughed twice. It was poisoned. This was the rank 3 moon poison goo. The frenzy lightning wolf was furious and it raised its head and roared. Its fierce roar formed into an invisible force and smashed into the surroundings. Thunder Roar Goo used the vibration of the sound waves to kill, but this was not Thunder Roar Goo, it was the sound wave goo which formed invisible pushing force. Sheng Jiao Man and Gu Yu Yao Li were sent flying into different directions by this pushing force. Sheng Jiao Man struck a bamboo building. No more movements could be seen from her, whereas Gu Yu Yao Li was sent flying past the broken eastern gate and out of the village. The fall stunned her, and as she tried getting up, she saw a lightning wolf opening its bloody mouth and trying to bite her. Ah! She gave a shrill scream, and at this critical juncture, a moon blade flew over and killed this lightning wolf. She hurriedly stood up and saw the benefactor who saved her. He was a young male goo master. The lower half of his body had been buried under the collapsed wall. The male goo master vaguely smiled at her with his blood-drenched face. The next moment, his throat was ripped open by the swarming lightning wolves. Tears flew down Gu Yu Yaola's face and she cried as she ran. This part of the battlefield was extremely chaotic. Because of Gu Yu Yaola's identity and background, there were goo masters who helped her out from time to time. But they were powerless to even protect themselves, much less help her out of this predicament. Gu Yu Yao Jai was also tangled up with the frenzy lightning wolf and couldn't attend to her. Gu Yu Yao Li was perplexed and fully at a loss within. There were only the images of claws and teeth of the lightning wolves in front of her. In her frantic state, she suddenly heard a voice speak, move a step back. She subconsciously followed the voice and was able to luckily avoid a lightning wolf's bite. Roll to the right. That voice came again. Yaola's consciousness was still blank, but her body had already made the move. There was a snapping sound of a wolf's mouth. She had escaped the bite by a hair's breadth. The voice arrived unceasingly, and the young girl meticulously followed them. There were mistakes made sometimes, but at those times a moonblade would fly over from seemingly nowhere and get her out of the trouble. Only when there were no more lightning wolves around her, did Yaola discover that she was already safe. It was only when she had unconsciously drifted far away from the village and was in a remote forest. A human figure appeared in front of her. Her eyes immediately opened wide. Gu Yu Fang Yuan, you were the one who helped me? No, I am only helping myself. Fang Yuan grinned, revealing an evil intent. 